All right, I got a Hatson 125 here, and we're going to be shooting some JSB match jumbos. These are 13.4 grain. I'm going to take a couple pops before I go ahead and try to diesel this. Now, I wouldn't recommend dieseling it. Nobody does. There could be some uh, safety issues involved. And at a minimum, you can mess your gun up, but I'm going to take the risk for the sake of YouTube. We're going to shoot these stock and then with, with a dab of 3 and one oil inside the skirt. And then possibly shoot a couple different ones, maybe a lighter green gamo alloy. So we'll go ahead and get started with the stock JSBs and regular firing. Shot one, 13 fours. Shot two, 13 fours. Shot three, 13 fours. I got flies flying through my chronograph giving me airs. All right, I averaged 894 feet a second and right around not quite 24 foot-pounds of energy with them 13 fours. All right, drop a 301 oil in on 13 fours. A little loud. 1,321 feet a second at 51.93 foot-pounds of energy. All right, one last time with them. There's oil in there. That was 1260. Notice how erratic that was. That was at 47 foot-pounds of energy. All right, now I got the Gamos 9.8 grains in there with oil. I don't know how many shots it's gonna take like this. Maybe only one, we'll see. Fifteen hundred and eighty one feet a second. Now just to show you, without any oil, I've ran a couple rounds through to get any oil out. These are the Gamos bone stock. That broke the speed of sound. Eleven forty eight. So it will break the speed of sound, this hat's in with stock alloys. If you look here, this was the stock 13 fours with that put oil, but there wasn't oil. I'm running 894 feet a second average. Pretty damn good for a springer. Almost 24 feet a second. And then, with oil, I'm over 50 foot-pounds of energy, and one shot was 1,321 feet a second pushing up close to a 22 and the big one the gamos look at that thing 54 foot pounds of energy at 1581 feet a second and then the gamos without oil 1148 on that one at 28 foot pounds of course them things fly everywhere you can't get a group but yeah well, I just wanted to show you quick me and my four-year-old put this together in about two hours it's a bullet trap for air rifles, but I do believe it would hold up with 22s. All I did was behind this towel, which helps stop it, the uh, pellets from ricocheting are little neodymium magnets. And I'm going to take this whole works down. Just got plywood in there, I think half inch for everything, and then I threw a eight-inch stove pipe bent it out and just pounded up in there and you can see the impact of the pellets never broke through now some of these pellets that hit it are just completely flat unreal I mean almost disintegrated look at that so it did a good job of stopping 20 meters at supersonic speed it stopped them dead in their track couple hours and no blueprints just started cutting wood and putting it together and somebody know wants to know how I made it I guess I could throw a video on on it pretty good job of doing what it needs to do
kind of impressed. So there you go. I wouldn't recommend doing this. I just wanted to see what would happen and what kind of velocity you'd get. I'm sure you do it too much, you're going to be blowing some seals and O-rings out. So there you go. Supersonic with oil. <laughs>